tonight on Wise Guy. Agent Terranova, you are on record as having voiced some confusion in loyalty. Do you know this man? Don Ayupo. Head of one of the largest crime families in New York. What's Ayupo got to do with me? He's dating your mother. Raphael Ayupo, I'm arresting you for Article 241. Speak English. You're in this country illegally. Hey, wait a minute. What, what, are you, what are you got? Wait a minute. Wait. Hey, Frank, just barely made the shuttle. What's going on? It's not about Richie, is it? Oh, uh, I don't have any idea what's going on, but it better be good. They tore me away from the hearth in a colorized version of It's a Wonderful Life. Well, oh, are we a cheery group tonight? Have a seat. What, you guys got some against Fordham University or what? Agent Terranova. Your Italian ancestry, correct? Yeah. Mother and father landed immigrants. Yeah, that's right. Raised in Brooklyn with strong regional and family ties. Let me know when he's up for the really big prizes, Paul. Sorry. During your investigation of the Steelgrave family, you are on record as having voiced some confusion in loyalty. I had some problems with the methods used in that case, yeah. You took a six-month leave of absence after your investigation of Mel and Susan Prophet. Again, you are on record in your confusion. Oh, there was no confusion there. Our government was in bed with a dictator to make a buck. Agent Terranova. Did you take a blood oath as a soldier in the steel grave crime family, or La Familia, as it is commonly called, subjected to flame and the knife, if I understand correctly? Yeah, so what? Agent Terranova's taking that oath was consistent with his duties as an OCB officer. Paul, what's going on here? Frank, you know as well as I do. The longer a deep cover agent stays under, the more the lines blur. But when blood is involved, hundreds of years of antiquated tradition... What the hell is he talking about? Is Vince's loyalty in question here? You're aware that in the normal training cycle, baby agents are assigned to surveil known organized crime figures? Mm-hmm. Agent Sherwood has come up with some interesting snapshots. Agent Terranova, do you know this man? Don Ayupo. 
Born Raphael Gaetanio Ayupo, Casa Veltrona, Sicily, 1917. Immigrated to New York in 1925. Convicted of assault, 1931. Subsequently questioned over two dozen times on a variety of crimes ranging from robbery to murder. No further arrests or convictions. Also known as Rudy Flowers, also known as Don Ayupo, once head of one of the largest crime families in New York. Ayupo's been retired for years. You know, as well as I do, these old ginzos never retire until the day they die. What's Ayupo got to do with me? He's dating your mother. Rest a minute, huh? Whew. Stands on his feet all day. You think he'd want to sit one out? Uh, Tito? Never. He danced until the building came down around his ears, if you let him. Oh. Every year we have a dance, and every year the same people come. Those that can still walk and breathe. Oh. Cheer up, it's fun. It's the holidays. Yeah, sure, why not? Eh, I guess we all gave up the dream of a prince sweeping us away decades ago. Anybody want to take a chance on a TV for the senior center? Your cousin Rita wins every year. Are you trying to say I fix a raffle? I'll yeah. take two. One for me, one for my woman. He's got some bache coming in here. Lucky the church doesn't fall down. <coughs> what does he want here? Maybe Monsignor is late on his payment. And uh, now he's got a new partner? Or maybe somebody in here is marked to die. Maybe he's just lonely, like the rest of us. Carlan. Buon Grazie. No, non balliamo. Grazie. No dance. Thank you. You're looking well, Carlos. What do you want here? Just a little punch. And is it yours? You didn't come here just to sample my baked goods. I'm an old man, these are my people. Then you should have got to know them while you were getting old. Now you only scare them. I've done a lot for these people. Polly C, I got him into the union in 52. He retired last year with two kids through college and a summer place in Seaside Heights. Your thugs control the union. <laughs> Mrs. Deberino's son, Phil. I got him into the Naval Academy. You had a politician in your pocket. <laughs> See, Vianotsu and his wife were being thrown out of their apartment by an unscrupulous landlord. I intervened. You held a gun to his head. I've done something for almost everyone in this room. And all for your own gain, so that you could be a man of respect. I never said I was perfect. This is what you do with your life. You work in a senior citizen center, and you give dances. It wouldn't hurt you to help the church a little yourself. I put concrete in the new wing of St. Matthew's Hospital. I even bought Father Tom a Cadillac, 86, right out of the showroom. Paid for with blood money. Why, blood money, everything I did was legal at, at some part of the country. Everything.
<laughs> 60 years in this country, he still refuses to learn English. He still thinks he's going back to the old country, just like all the old timers. Not me. I love this country. Tell me, Carlotta, you really don't think man can start over? The rare man. You take a chair, you put it like this. It's a chair. You put it like this. It's still a chair. That's all I'm gonna say. I've been trying to build up my nerve all night. For old time's sake, Carlotta, with a raven hair. As a man who has never stopped as wishing well, now I'm watching children's carousel. You just wait a second. We have rolls of film of them together on at least half a dozen separate occasions. You can't believe that Vince is involved with Ayupo. I don't know where he plays in this little opera. Where are you going? I'm going home. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I'm going to find out firsthand. If you think I'm involved with Ayupo because of this, why don't you just come out and say it? Or is this going to be another governmental witch hunt? So how was your trip? Uh, did you eat? Yeah, man, I got uh, restaurants in D.C. Home a little late, aren't you? Oh, you know how your cousin Rose can talk. It's a nice dress. Is it new? It's nothing. Well, I have to get up early tomorrow. Buona notte. My mom. Good night, Ma.
Hey, can I help you with something? Oh, thanks. You're turning over, right? Yeah. Now, how you doing? Hey, the Don doesn't like surprises in the AM. Uh, give your knuckles a break, all right? He's in the hot house. You said you'd want to see him. Your mother told you, huh? She hasn't said a word. I guess there's no secret around the neighborhood. Uh, great. How well do you know your mother, Vincenzo? She's my mother. I'm going to tell you something you won't believe. I've been in love with your mother for more than 50 years. You know something? I can't break the habit of hiding this from my wife. Dead almost 11 years. God rest. Here, Vincenzo, I got some for you, too. Whoops. There we are. Chenta. Oh, drink, drink. Go ahead. A couple of drops ain't gonna hurt you. You were talking about my mother. Why'd you wait so long to go after her? You know our business, Vincenzo. It takes time to get out. I know your mother since she was a girl. Her family, your family, are from my village. Our families immigrated here around the same time. I first remember Carlotta when she was a skinny little girl with waist-long black hair. I watched that skinny little girl blossom into a woman. To see her walk back then was to see the sun, the moon, the stars. By the time I was old enough to get serious with women, I was already involved in our business. She would have nothing to do with me, nothing. But I always held a special place in my heart for her. When she married your father, I sent a present, a couch. Cost me 800 bucks back before the war. You sent her a couch? Yeah, and your father sent it right back. Came to my social club in front of all these people. He threatened me. Hey, nobody threatened me back then. He told me, if I go near his wife, he'd kill me with his bare hands. <laughs> I always respected him for that. Don Iopo, please listen to me. What my mother needs most now is peace of mind. Her emotions are too close to the surface. Now, my brother's only been dead a short time. It's better if you stop seeing her. She told you to say this? No, well, but I think... gives you the right to say this. It's between your mother and me. What's the matter, Vincenzo? You no believe two people our age can fall in love? Did she say she loved you? Well, not in so many words. It's only three. I am not a danger to her. I, I lead a peaceful life now. The last time I saw you, you were negotiating a drug deal with Mel Prophet and treating him to hookers on the side. Very peaceful. Are you pot so what? I did it for you. All my life, I, I kept my people out of drugs. Then you came to me with that, that bacala, and I say to myself, well, if Vincenzo thinks it's OK, then it's, it's inevitable. Manaccia marone. You, of all people, should understand this, Vincenzo. You're a man. You chose the same kind of life I did. And there were far less opportunities for us in the old days, believe me. Don't you want a wonderful girl? You don't want a putana? I know your soul. You don't know the first thing about me. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Why are we arguing? Let your mother decide. No! What are you going to do if she agrees to continue to see me? Shoot me? Vincenzo, is it such a surprise that someone beside you could love your mother? You think then she'll like this wreath? Yeah, I'm sure she'll love it. Gotcha. What? Oh, 
morning, Vincenzo. You went out early. What's the Aupo? About you. How dare you talk to him without talking to me first? Who told you? Your cousin Rose? Ma, I got called to Washington because you were seeing him. Federal agents took pictures of you two together. Tell them to mind their own business. In That's their capital. job. That's my job. I put people like him away for a living. I've been a grown woman a long time, Vincent, so I know what I'm doing. Mom, this guy is a gangster. When you thought I was a gangster, you wouldn't have anything to do with me. And I had nothing to do with Rudy while he was a gangster. Rudy? Rudy. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand, Ma. If you put me through two years of hell because you disowned me when you thought I was a gangster. Now you're dating one. Yeah. Let me tell you a story, Vincenzo. It's about a young boy and a young girl. There was love involved. He was handsome, strong, and too brave for his own good. He wanted a better life than his father, who broke his back for no money. He turned to crime and became an animal to survive. And this young girl, accepting the bitter with the good in this new country, would never again have anything to do with this young man. And that was how you born. Vincenzo, since your brother died, the way I look at things has changed. I thank God every day for the beauty of life. To be complete, I need to have someone who sees things with the same eyes. Rudy has those eyes. Vincenzo, some people change, Vincenzo. Yeah, and some people don't, Ma. Ayupo's been deceiving people all his life. Why shouldn't he do the same thing to you? Because I know what's in his heart. Oh, Vincenzo, in your brother's simple teachings of our Lord, he spoke the most about forgiving. Mm -hmm. Only time will tell with this. Hello. Oh, good morning, Rudy. I understand you had a visitor. I hope he didn't upset you. Oh, good. Tonight? Your mother wanted me to pick up fresh sausage at Camilo's. Well, I'll ask him. Angela? Oh, the last of big times. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I'd love it if you send Pucci. My mother's going out with Don Ayupo. Everyone knows that. Oh, the ride in splendor. <laughs> Where the hell have I been? Hmm? She's got a life of her own, too. Everybody's an expert on my mother all of a sudden. Eight o'clock. Good. Look at her, Vinny. Look at how happy she looks. Oh, you didn't let her add salt. She always adds too much salt. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Rudy called. He wants to meet Vincenzo and me for dinner. Please join <laughs> us. Mm. I've got to go. Oh, Angie, Angie, don't make me face this by myself. Please. Vinny? Please. Please. Only for you, I'll drink champagne, because tomorrow I'll have a headache. I'm not a drinker. <laughs> you know, when Vincenzo came to see me today, he made me think of many things. He made me think of family, neighborhood, roots. What he made me think of most was love. That with love, time is far too uh, fleeting. This was forged in the old country. It was my mother's ring. And her mother's mother before that. Carlotta, I'm asking you in front of your son. Will you marry me? Vinny. I just can't help feeling that I'm the one that causes this to happen. No. Look who they are together. Yeah, they 
do look pretty good together, don't they? Mm -hmm. Raphael Ayupo, Officer Comerford, U.S. Immigration. I'm arresting you for Article 241-A2 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Speak English. You're in this country illegally. Hey, wait a minute. What, what, are, you, what are you guys? What are you, you guys are making a mistake. Wait a minute. Wait. This is just what your life could turn into, Ma. Nothing but harassments and arrests. But he's retired from that life. Nah, it's just chickens coming home to roost. It just doesn't seem fair for this to happen now. Yeah, well, let's not forget that Rudy is not without some responsibility here. Hello. Vinny, it's Uncle Mike. Did you find Frank? Yeah, he's in the air en route to DC. Listen, I went ahead and I did a reverse track. Apparently, Ayupo was red flagged in DC. And this went up with bells and whistles. Any idea who or why? <sighs> All signs point to someone inside the OCB. You sure? Hey, it was put on interdepartmental class one priority. Vinny. Yeah, Uncle Mike. Yeah, you, you did. You did fine. Do you have any idea who might have it in for Ayupo down at the home office? Hey, Mark. Hey, what's the problem here? You pressed the button on Ayupo, didn't you? You wanted, a, you wanted Ayupo exercise your mother. I had the chance in all of this. I accessed his file back to 1925 and found out he was EWI. What the hell is EWI? Entrance without inspection. This, what is it? This man's a mook here just got Ayupo deported. Sometimes Christmas comes early. This kid got no off switch. No. You know, if I had two more just like him, we'd shut down crime on the whole eastern seaboard. Hey, I'm calling in some markers here. I want OCB to use its muscle to keep Ayupo in the country. Am I missing something here? The most sophisticated law enforcement agency in the world just found out that Ayupo is in this country illegally? The Sicilian Fox had Congressman Francis Farber deep in his pocket for the last 30 odd years. When Farber retired back in 78, nobody bothered going back into Iopo's file, assuming it had been fine combed. <laughs> Never inspected and admitted. That's 241-A2 of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Entering the United States without inspection or at any time or place other than as designated by the Attorney General, or is in the U.S. in violation of any other laws of the United States. No! I want Ayupo left alone. It's not our job to leave mobsters alone. What mobster? This guy is a little old man who spends his day ten in his garden. No, I want OCB to throw their weight around to get him released. Vince, you are asking us to violate the law. Now, that is the exact kind of indulgence and abuse that you find so abhorrent, whoever Ayupo is now. For decades, he violated laws against society. The government extracts a price for that. Frank, I got to find a way to keep Ayupo in the country. For God's sakes, why? My mother is in love with him. I'm sorry, Vincent. Vinny, there's not a damn thing we can do now. I'm sorry, man. I thought I was helping a fellow agent. I know. I know. I always appreciated life's little ironies. But this, this is Mishgads. Bring the cigars. 
Yeah. You got one? Nah. People talk about the old country like it was some kind of paradise. <laughs> that hot African wind blows red dust all day long. My people had no running water. The men worked from first light, clearing the fields for the padrones. And the women, they spend their days pounding laundry on rocks. It was 70 years ago. It hasn't changed that much. You got any family left back there? The last of them ran away from the fascisti. I won't know a soul. I'm used to getting the times on my front step every morning and, and picking up ball games on my satellite dish 24 hours a day. I love this country, Vinny. It's where I grew up, where I made my fortune. I don't want to go back there and die with strangers. Be careful, Vinny. Power is like no other thing. I had men bound by blood, did whatever I told. Politicians at my beck and call. Best of everything. Clothes, cars, women, oh, the women. But I could trust no one. Did I, did I do so different than anyone else so as to deal with animals? Didn't our own government deal with the Ayatollah and trade with drug dealers? Let our country do whatever it has to do to protect itself, to survive. Yeah. Well. Chenzo, get out of this life. Get out now. The price you will have to pay is much too dear. Chenzo, I want no more regrets in my life. I'm going to ask your mother to marry me now, this week, before I am deported. And if she says yes, that means she will live with me in Sicily. If my mother says yes, you have my blessing. change what I had with him. I loved your father very much. He was a good man who worked very hard for his family. We both did. Think about him all the time. When he smiled. <laughs> his smile was just like your smile. <laughs> oh, he would have been proud of you and your brother, Vincenzo. Yeah. I'm having a hard time seeing somebody else in this picture. Chandani. 
cent'anni. Grazie. Come fai di me? I did. You could speak to him on your wedding day. Not today, not ever. Forty years without a word between you. It's a disgrace. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I love neighborhood weddings. Yeah. Last neighborhood wedding I went to, Ralphie Santangelo chipped my tooth with his skull ring because I was dancing with Clarice Baduti, you know what I mean? Oh, but they're nice. They're nice. Be a lot nicer if it wasn't serving as a going away party for my mother. Sometimes things have a way of working, Vinny. Come on, expect a miracle. It's Christmas time. A miracle. <laughs> yeah, what? My friends. I want to thank you all for sharing this day with Carlotta and me. It's a very special day to be married to the woman I love. To be in the winter of my life surrounded by my friends and neighbors. Some of you I'm getting to know for the first time. It is with great pride that I am leaving this country. I am proud of my heritage. Our homeland gave to the world Galileo. Da Vinci, Michelangelo. The immigrants who came here and forged a new life gave this country Iacocca, Cuomo, DiMaggio, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but as I look back on my life here and get ready to embark on a new life. The heroes I am most proud of are you, the people in this hall, hard-working Americans. I will admit, I will miss you all. We will miss you all. Now I have only a few more hours left, so have a good time. Dance, sing, me. Hey. Your eyes are so sad, Vincenzo. Eyes are fine. I'm your mother. I know what's in your eyes. You know I'm happy for you. Think of it as a beginning. Yeah, I know. It's just that I spent so much time away from you. Now I'm only going to be able to see you once or twice a year. We will see. The house is yours now. What are you talking about? You could sell it. If I sell it, where would I stay when I come to visit? Oh, gee. Hey. How's everything? Smooth as a baby's butt. He said that these brajons could use some food. You know, I've been sitting out here for two hours and here you go, Frank. That's for me. Yeah, it's for you. Well, thanks, Vince. You're welcome. Well, 
don't look so sad. Cheer up. Nah, I'm happy. I'd be a lot happier if I could invite my friends from the bureau inside to my mother's wedding instead of feeding them out here on the curb. But, you know, happy for my mother, Don Ayupo. You know, Ayupo must be a very special man. You don't get to be his age in his business, much less get the woman of your dreams. Listen, I wanted to thank you for going to bat with Comerford and the immigration people for me. My mother wanted to say goodbye to all her friends. It wasn't me. It was strictly Beckstead. He's not a bad guy once you give him half a chance. And you hear those bells? I always love the sound of those bells. Well, it's getting late. I better get back inside. I gotta say goodbye. Yeah. Are you boys going out tonight? No, tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. My mother's going out later. Thanks, Frank. Enjoy. Mind Solo. Domani. Shini mele città. Ci facciamo una tazza caffè. What are those men doing with Don Ayupo? See, it's an ancient tradition to ask the Don for favors on his wedding day. They're going to haul the old timer out of here in handcuffs. They think he can still do something for him. We're going to have to wrap it up. They come to me for help with things only God could do. But does my heart good, they still come to me. It's time to go. Yes, it's time. When I was young, my wife complained I never danced. Now I'm an old man, I dance all night. Jenny, I must talk to you about my money. With all these federal people swarming all over me, I can't touch it. When things calm down a little, I will contact you. Now, I promised your mother I would give my money to charity under your brother Pete's name. When the time comes, Will you take care of it? I will, Donna. You won't. Aspetta. Dobbiamo fare la pace. Vincenzo, tell the agents I must speak with my brother. Say goodbye to my wife in private. Check it out. No windows. I can't go with him. I can't leave my only son. I can't move to Sicily. I can't leave my home. Oh, Rudy, I never should have gone through with it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a mistake. I can't live in Sicily. These years. I can't do it. Vincenzo, I can't leave you. 
I can't leave you. I can't go to Sicily. I can't leave you. brothers and they didn't speak to each other for over 40 years yeah but tito had a different name yeah well tito was so embarrassed by his brother's business he took his mother's maiden name that's why they didn't speak for 40 years yeah and then when tito refused to come to don ayupo's wedding ayupo made him persona non grata his name was never to be spoken again it's a classic neighborhood story i think it's wonderful I mean, they both got what they wanted. Don Ayupo, the woman he loves. Yeah, and Tito gets to go back to the old country. And when they come back from their cruise, they're going to set up shop as Mr. and Mrs. Tito Armini. And you know what? Mm. I haven't felt this good in a long time.